Brian, when you're doing your financial plans, tell me about the goals or the things that you're solving for. Yeah, there's five primary things that we're trying to solve for with uh, any investment strategies. And, and one is growth. Everybody wants growth. Uh, another is security. You know, people don't want to have to think they're going to lose their money. Cash flow is certainly a significant one. Liquidity, you sometimes need access to money. And finally, uh, tax savings related to all of these. So if there was a, a perfect strategy out there, I'd hit that easy button and have all five of them. Unfortunately, every investment out there has attributes, positive attributes, but it also has negative attributes. So obviously in any financial plan, we need to have different tools to accomplish the five different goals that we want to obtain. Because every investor is different. I mean, they're an individual. Can you tell me about the balance that you use with these five goals? Yeah, if we, you know, we can talk about certain uh, individual investments and that might help uh, people understand what I'm trying to get to here. So for instance, let's say you like the stock market. Stock market is great at growth, can be, and it can be, and it's very liquid typically, you can sell in a day. And so, but things that it doesn't do well, it's not great at cash flow. Uh, maybe you have a dividend paying stock, so that might be an exception to some degree. It's probably not great on security because, you know, we have market crashes sometimes, and it probably isn't the, the best at uh, income tax savings. So there's an example of a good investment class stocks that had two attributes that are very positive. We would use that for growth and liquidity, but maybe not so much for the others. As opposed to that, you might have a fixed index annuity. An annuity is not going to have great growth, and they aren't very liquid, whereas the stock market is. However, they're very good at security and can be good at cash flow. Uh, neither one of these strategies necessarily good with income taxes. So that's where we might look at uh, insurance type products like a fixed index universal life product uh, that can have okay growth. It's not very liquid. It can have very good cash flow. It can have great security, uh, especially with the life insurance and tax savings because the uh, money you take out can be income tax free. So, you know, I could keep going down the list. Real estate is going to have good cash flow typically, good growth. Uh, not very liquid, not, you know, you can have tax advantages if you do 1031 exchanges, so etc. So it takes uh, different tools to accomplish different goals. Most investment categories, though, I will say, have at least one or usually two or more uh, positive attributes and two or more negative attributes. Brian, if someone's retirement progresses, do these goals of the balance, do they change much? That's a great question. Yes, they do. Uh, we certainly change over time. So if I'm 25 years old, you know, I'm, I'm investing as aggressively as I can. I do not care about security or retirement cash flow when I'm 25 years old and want to find a, a fancy red car to buy, you know, and that kind of thing or a house to live in. I'm most, uh, mostly interested in growth and probably uh, not so much about liquidity either. But if I'm 75 years old, I very much do care about liquidity. And we gotta remember, I mean, all of these are good things, but things can be good, uh, it's kinda like the too hot, too cold, just right. You can have too much growth uh, assets in your portfolio. You're 80 years old, and all you have is high-risk assets in your portfolio. None of it's liquid. You can't spend any of it. That's probably not a good place to be. You can be too liquid. If everything in your portfolio is liquid and nothing's invested for the long term, then you probably aren't going to get great returns on, on some of your stuff. You could be too, too much overweight in any of those. So I like to see some kind of balance between all of those. But every individual, depending on their place in life, is going to have a different balance. And, and a different balance over time regards to their own uh, planning as, as they age. Brian, thanks for telling us more about the five goals with your investment strategies. You're welcome.